hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to make the increment and decrement for the product quantity in our laravel e-commerce so let's get started with it so previously we had built this design and when you click on this add button so this plus button it has to increase and when you click here it has to decrease so let's start with the coding for this thing so th this is our page and this is the div which is visible over there this is the decrease button and this is the increment button so first let us add a class for this let me say decrement button here it's going to be increment button save and we will give the class to this also say quantity input save and scroll down and here we are going to write the script for this so we are using jquery let me say section of here scripts inside this open the script tag doc yeah so here I'm going to use the click function say jq click so here the selector we are going to use the class over here so you remember right we just added here decrement button increment button so first we we'll take the increment button copy that and here put dot and paste the class name save and create a variable here called increment value and here what we are going to do is we are going to take the value what is there in this text box so dollar copy that and paste over here with dot say dot val and what we are going to do is we are going to check it if it is not a number so it might be a string also so we will just parse int that thing so it become an integer Let's say where value is equal to parse int function parse int and what we are going here to give is we are going to give increment value comma within 10 it has to be okay not greater than 10 and here what we are going to do is we are going to check if value is equal to is none so what is what this is 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 not a number so if thus not a number which thing the value if the value is not a number then else the value yeah so here we are going to assign zero so you don't have to give it in string yeah so what is this statement telling is we are assigning the value if this is not a number we are going to make it to zero else whatever the value is there we are going to keep that and here i'm going to allow only till 10 right so quantity will increment only till 10. i'm going to say if value is less than 10 then value plus plus and this thing copy that and paste and in this value just pass this value variable okay so this val save so similarly for the increment so the decrement button also copy that so before that let us just check if this increment is working go to your browser and refresh so click on this no it's not taking let us check let's scroll up and here the quantity input I've given in the name okay so it has to be in the class let's cut that and paste it in the class save and now let us refresh and check so if you click here it has to increase yeah so you can see it's increasing so it has to increase till 10 okay so it's still 10 now let us make this decrement operator 
so before that you can see this is like a text it is reading as a text we need to read it as a button so we'll just change that span to button it's a beauty button copy that and paste it over here save refresh and here you can see it is a button now so let us make this decrement operator also so here just copy this and paste so instead of increment button copy this decrement button copy that and paste it over here so here what we are going to say is it's not increment it's going to be decrement value we'll take the value of that just percent of the decrement value and the value we are checking if it is not a number just assign zero or the value itself so if it is greater than one so we'll make it greater than one then you have to decrement the value so let's say minus minus save and then we are going to append the value over there in that text box so save this and let us check go and refresh you are done so let me just decrement it it's already one so it's not going to reduce so I'll increase and try to decrease it yeah so it is working so we are able to increase the value quantity as well as decrease the quantity so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to make the increment and the decrement of the product quantity in our laravel e-commerce so in the next video we will be seeing how to make the add to cart and how to make the add to wish list and all so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again